Anya Taylor Joy is one of the hottest names in Hollywood and the world today. 2024 could be her year. After starring in Dune Part 2, we get to see her now as Furiosa in the new action packed movie by George Miller, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. With that said, we could have been sitting here and talking about a different actress altogether, as Anya was very close to quitting acting. And in this video, we're about to find out the reasons for her almost quitting and what or who convinced her to stay in the business. Stay till the end, you'll enjoy a few fun interesting facts about the new Mad Max movie. Let's begin. It wasn't all easy going for Anya Taylor-Joy growing up, especially as a child. According to her, the characters in the Harry Potter books were her friends. And during her first two years in England, she spent playing hand clap games with plants and learning how to read. So far, a regular childhood. However, in school, Taylor Joy suffered from bullying and once was even trapped in lockers and being made fun of for having white set eyes. Anya said that she didn't let these events and experiences break her and that it actually just really pushed her. She added that she needed acting, needed to believe in a place where she could be valued and appreciated and actually have something to contribute rather than constantly feeling like something is wrong with her and that she doesn't fit in. As an actress trying to make a name for herself and getting noticed in the business, Taylor Joy found herself working back to back. During filming of the movie Emma, Taylor Joy bonded with co-star Mia Goth. She said that Goth was the first actress close to her age that she met and that the two had a very cool conversation where they both said they love each other and will always have each other's backs. This reassured and strengthened Taylor Joy deciding that the two of them would progress in this very wild industry, knowing they were going to take care of each other. But just before shooting the 2020 film Emma, Taylor Joy had done two projects at the same time and was going through some emotional relationship stuff. All this added up and had its toll, as at the beginning of 2019, she was just really broken and frightened of everything. Thank you for choosing to watch our video. If you enjoyed so far, please like it and subscribe to support our channel. I truly appreciate it. Want to share with us your thoughts about Anya Taylor Joy? Comment below and let's talk about it. Now, let's continue. It was when she and Mia were driving back from reversal that she turned to her and said that she's thinking about quitting acting. Taylor Joy told God during the drive that she doesn't think she can do this anymore. God looked worried and told Taylor Joy. This is what she does, acting. But according to Taylor Joy, she just thought it was time to quit, leave the business, try to take care of her heart. God told her that would be really bad, that she can't quit acting, as acting is her oxygen. According to Taylor Joy, these words made her rethink her thoughts of quitting, and that she's glad God said it to her. Shortly after, she finally got her big break, scoring the role of Beth Harriman on the successful TV series, The Queen's Gambit. She also continued to portray the role of Gina Gray on other successful series, Peaky Blinders, and was part of other great projects such as Dune Part 2. Now, she's playing the lead role in the big movie of 2024, Furiosa, Mad Max Saga. 2024 looks like the year of Anya Taylor-Joy. I can bet we'll be hearing a lot more from this talented actress. She's not going anywhere now. Her stardom has just begun. Fun facts about Furiosa a Mad Max Saga Chris Hemsworth, the star of the new Mad Max movie, plays the role of villainous character Dementis, rode a unique and heavily modified motorbike in the movie. Hemsworth decided to keep the motorbike once filming of the movie ended. The bike had a radio aeroplane engine as its drive mechanism. Hemsworth's evil character is seen riding the stunning bike in different parts in the movie. Director George Miller considered using the aging technology so that Charlize Strong could star in his movie. However, Miller said that it would have been difficult to pull off since the technology was never persuasive. Instead, he decided to cast someone new in the role of Imperator Furiosa and scoring this part was Anya Taylor-Joy. Charlize Strong shared she was disappointed that she wouldn't be reprising her role in the new Mad Max movie. She added that it's a little heartbreaking that she really loves this character, but is so grateful 
she had a small part in creating her. That character will forever be someone she thinks of and reflects on fondly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, click on the video to the right, as I guarantee you'll enjoy it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.